as many of you know, uh, I had uh, bypass surgery uh, recently, and uh, this is the first public event that I've had since then, and it's a great one to be here for this, and I thank everyone for all of their prayers. This is a historic moment for our nation and in the history of the pro-life movement because we stand on the precipice of seeing Roe v. Wade probably effectively overturned by the Supreme Court. It is a great moment of hope and it is a moment to give thanks to God and also to all those who have worked this past half century to bring this about. I was in college when the Roe v. Wade decision came down and I remember being tremendously saddened by it and really wondering, would we ever see a day when the rights of the unborn were affirmed by the court again and the notion that singularly focusing on the rights of women to the exclusion of the rights of unborn, rather than focusing on both the rights of women and the rights of the unborn. Would we ever see a day when that decision would be overturned? And I am confident we are coming close to that day. Now for us in California, Many states will see tremendous progress legislatively rather soon. And so there will be legal protections for the unborn in many states rather quickly. We have to know in California that is not the case. And thus, this is a moment not to uh, cease or uh, downsize our efforts, but to redouble them here in California. We have to convince the people of California, and I believe we have the capacity to do that over time, that the rights of the unborn, that the unborn child in the womb is precious, and that as we know, God is the author of all life. And we are merely stewards of life here on this earth. But we are called to be stewards, good stewards. So I want to thank all of those who have worked for this past half century. It really has been an uphill struggle. And I was not at all confident that we would come to this moment. But we have come to this moment. But you know, when Moses, I'm sorry, uh, when Moses came to the promised land, he was allowed to see it, but not enter it. When we see Roe v. Way overturned effectively, and in some form I believe it will be, we are seeing the promised land of our hopes for the rights of the unborn and the rights of women to be equally vindicated. But. In California, we're not going to be able to promise or enter into the promised land of true legal protections for the unborn right away. We must continue the struggle. We must continue to educate and convert minds and hearts to point to the unborn child and see the preciousness of that life. We all know that in an ultrasound, parents see their child and they know this is a human life. We need to bring that home, that sense, and the implications for it in terms of how our laws can protect the unborn. Sean and his wife are portrayed in the 2019 major motion picture, Unplanned, which tells the beautiful story of Abby Johnson's conversion. He is co-author of 40 Days for Life, the author of The Beginning of the End of Abortion, and To the Heart of the Matter, the 40-Day Companion to Live a Culture of Life. Quite the experience waking up as a Texan in San Diego and seeing a weather alert and it being a, a tsunami. So once I realized uh, that y'all weren't freaking out, I, I felt really good. 
uh, about coming out here. So when we uh, approach an anniversary like that, it should be rainy across our country, even in places like San Diego. It should be a little cold because we need to know that abortion is ending in America. Abortion is ending in America. It's ending because abortion is driven upon business. And over the last 25 years, half of all the abortion facilities in America had closed. That's just a fact. And during that time, as we heard before, and you see some of them here, the number of pregnancy resource centers has tripled. So now, pro-life pregnancy resource centers who offer real medical help and alternatives to abortion outnumber abortion providers five to one, including the state of California. What a great historic time to be pro-life not only where it matters most, which is what we're doing here today, in the grassroots. In 1973, the Supreme Court, once again, dehumanized a segment of our population. And this time it wasn't because of the color of their skin like they did with Dred Scott. This time it was because of the size and location of those Americans. And so, our Supreme Court changed what it meant to be an American. The unborn were now property. They were not mutual funds. We don't, we don't gain dignity through gestation. We don't get more valuable over the nine months that we're born. The only surgery that brings us here today is the surgery that does not rip and tear to heal, but to kill. And it unfortunately does that 2,400 times every single day in the United States of America. The pro-life movement has only grown in the last 49 years. It has not only grown, it has gotten younger. And it has gotten smarter. And science has proven what we know in our hearts to be true. We don't live in an ivory tower view of abortion with euphemisms. We live it with the data of abortion. Our movement is led by those women who have had an abortion. Planned Parenthood managers who ran abortion facilities. People who genuinely supported a woman's right to choose. That's what the pro-life movement is made of. It's a movement of, con of converts and the conversion gate only swings in one direction. And that should give you hope in San Diego. It should give you hope all across the state of California. Never forget when we when we launched it we thought okay we're gonna have you know Mississippi and Tennessee and you know where all the good people live all those states will do 40 days for life and so we launched it on on the internet and the first city to sign up to bring 40 days for life campaign <laughs> to to their city was Sacramento California Woo! and of course being God-fearing Texans we just thought it was like a a tech issue that it, like God, God's not in California how did that happen we now see that California is the largest state for 40 days for life we are in 66 countries and we have more campaigns in, in California than in most other countries have throughout Latin America and, and Europe 